<clears throat> How's it going, everyone? I'm Game Master 648, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves, the last level. All the cutscenes. All of it. We did episode one, episode two, three, and four. Five, six, and seven. This one is the last. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the clogging took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen.
2016, we were going to have a movie called Sly Cooper, but the movie didn't saw the light of day. It was going to be a TV show, but that never happened. instruments 
have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If arpeggios already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Clockwork might be in one piece, but he's not even alive like in the first game. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Heard me fall? These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Nila? Nila's here too! 
source of all our problems. I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Magnets have been reversed. But by Jove, 
It seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent! Sly Cooper! Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal! So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah oh, well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang. Interpol and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... She killed Arpeggio. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out, and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the Hate Hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just the warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Oh, <laughs> 
Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys.
Okay, Sly, I'm waiting by the engine room door. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Hey, Bentley, I'm looking at these, uh, blueprints, and I think you've got to shoot out all the bolts with your dart gun to get up to the second level. Here's the hard part. Once you shoot a bolt, you'll need to then take out the bolt the electricity is going to. If you miss, and break the wrong bolt. There'll be a big power surge and come on out!
jump to the next level. If I'm reading this right, it looks like you need to bomb those power nodes to get into the control room. Once that door is open, you'll be able to shut this engine down for good. do more once I wake up. Alright. I'll do some more videos tomorrow. Once I get back, I'll I'll keep on recording this. I'll connect videos into one. And that's that. Okay. Finally it's tomorrow. 722 I don't usually tell what time is for me, but still. Yeah. I don't record videos at that time. I just don't. one. So this one is almost complete. This map is almost complete. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. Thank <laughs> you. 
really can't climb ladders in this game. It's like a bunch of uh, added any climbing animation for these two. <laughs> the idiot went over and fell.
pal. Looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly!
pry it open for me.
can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. to the propel on.
Saw me on time. With the TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. anyone puts that engine to use. In an unexpected windfall, I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. What? In a moment. Okay, Ricky. Did you came back, Mom? a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. Okay. They are Going too up. big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. 
Finally, I am back. After collecting all the coins, pickpocketing, it's time to give Maui some last upgrade. it, no more gadgets available, we're golden. Time to finish this off once and for all. Looks like for once let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat?
down too much.
terrific shooting. Thought I was gonna go on forever. There goes the blimp. Yeah, the whole blimp's being destroyed. There it goes, the Northern Light battery. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. anyways so yeah Die, Zex, die! My hate will smash you! 
Watch out. That thing's still kicking. Lakla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate ship. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail.
Alright, that's it for slide 2 Band of Thieves. Yeah, so all the Claw Gang members, except for Arpeggio and Neela, are some have somehow moved on with their lives, got jobs and all that. That's it. Uh, f well, for Bassan, he ended up frozen again in Canada. So Arpeggio's dead. Neela is dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, no animals were harmed in the making of this game. That's true. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. It's nighttime for me outside, so yeah. One hundred percent complete. We finished it. I can't even spell what this is. I can't even pronounce it. For disaster is complete. Clockwork. Clockla also known as Clockwork, is gone. Neela is dead. So it's finally over. Clockwork's reign of terror on destroying the Koopa family is gone forever. The Koopa line is free. Alright, that's it for this. Next up, Sly 3, Hano Among Thieves, and then Sly Koopa Thieves in Time. Hope you all enjoyed. If, you, if, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today, leave a like, comment below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.